Alright, I advanced a little bit in the battle. Not too much. I'm gonna have to remember to cut that together now. Man, it's just so easy for me to upload the episodes, but anytime something like that happens, I just know, great, I'm gonna have to cut it later on. Oh well. Ross has to do work. Blech. Speaking of that, I just got called. Now I have to come to work earlier. God damn it. That's just always happened. They never call me and they're like, hey Ross, you can come in a little later. No, they're just like, hey Ross, come in earlier. Lol. Forsky. Just like, no, why? Why you gotta do this to me? I'm busy playing Pokemon, guys. Jeez. Never let me play my Pokemon. Ugh! I forgot how solid Heathcliff's voice was. Very sensual, Heathcliff is. Alright, well, I only have one ancient power left, so I might as well, uh. I'm out of healing moves. Motherfucker. Alrighty. I hope you don't have any aftermath. Oh yeah, that's gonna do a lot. What's it gonna do? One damage? Three. Wow, he did, did slightly more than I thought you were gonna do. However, if I get hurt by aftermath damage now, I'm going to die. Because aftermath is a pain in the ass. No stat buffs, of course. Oh, I guess I gotta try something. Citrus Berry. This will restore me by 20 HP, I think. So basically, that just, that's just a potion right now. Yep, heals one-fourth of your health. Citrus berries are very solid. They're a very common hold item. I mean, not the com most common, but they certainly help. Citrus berries are very obnoxious. So obnoxious that you wonder why there's not stronger variants of bug bite. There really aren't. Well, there's Pluck, but again, this is the same power. There should be stronger variants of Bug Bite and moves like that. Because it's a solid ability. You want to be able to snatch berries sometimes. Anyway, what was I saying earlier? I was talking about the games I had. So yeah, I had that uh, Tomb Raider game. It was, it was pretty fun, honestly. I liked it. Very, very mixed memories of it. Like, I remember there's one part where you find this temple thing. Then you... Uh, see some visions, and then for some reason your gun starts making different noises whenever you shoot it for a little bit. I think that's because it changes to a magnum. Like, you get magnum ammo. And I waste it all, of course. But anyway, you squeezed out all my power. I don't want to talk about the things I'm squeezing out of you, lady. I'm sorry. A little too young for my tastes. Let's keep moving. And you know, she looks about my age. Sort of. Not really. Anyway, boss time. Heathcliff, it looks like you're going to be up first, and then we're just going to switch to Bowel or maybe Mavis and just watch her dominate everything. And we're good to go! Here we go! Oh ho ho! Finally you have arrived! Hmm, what other games did I have as a little kiddo? Uh, for the Game Boy Color that I got rid of. Uh, I had Dragon Dance! That was a funny case. That was the first instance I ever had of going to someone in GameStop and realizing I knew something that they didn't. I was like, hey, we, we're just going to sell this game Dragon Dance. They, they, look, they took one look at it and they're like, what the flying fuck am I looking at? It was basically Breakout, or like that game where you, you have the paddle at the bottom and you launch a ball to break the blocks up at the top. It was basically that, but it was called Dragon Dance for some reason. It was a lot of fun. I liked it. I mean, it was probably the best variant of that I've ever played, even though I'm not that interested in breakout-style games. It was fun. It was alright. I liked it well enough. Now, this bitch I know has Aftermath, so I need to be very careful about how I deal with you. That did shit all for damage, and of course Shockwave can't paralyze. Yeah, it looks like I'm not exactly in a good way here with Heathcliff. I mean, most of my Pokemon have a have a strength against these ghost types, whether it's because they have flying typing, poison typing, or uh, just their regular ghost typing. I mean, Tio doesn't. Tio's the one who's completely screwed over. Or not Tio, uh, Yuki, I should say. Um, let's just switch into Bao because she's just going to keep using Ominous Wind. So let's go for Bao and bite the thing. I am going to take damage from this, but I'll be able to heal a lot of it back. Ominous wind, better not buff yourself. Come on, I never get to buff myself, so you better not buff yourself. 
Why do I think this is her main Pokemon, even though it's only the first one she uses? Actually, who is her main Pokemon? It might be the Evolved Form of Miss Drevis that she used, uh, Miss Magnus. That might be her main Pokemon. Gust? Really? Come on, you were doing alright with Ominous Wind. Now you're going for Gust? Okay, that actually did some solid damage. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so for this, you bitch! You bitch! If you're wondering what I'm quoting there, you can take a guess if you look at the room. Like, you know, the movie, The Room. It's a pretty great movie. Oh, that was a solid crit. There you go, pal. Way to save me some time. I already know how much this bitch has in terms of HP because of my own Drift Blim. And there's aftermath damage. Ow. But at least I'll be able to heal a solid bit of that back. Unfortunately, Bao's actually getting low on health for once. Thanks to some rather obnoxious strategies. Heathcliff gained some good experience. Level 31 for Heathcliff. And Bao gets 699. Lol. That's like a 69, but someone else is trying to join in on the 9 part. Um, let's go with, uh, Mavis, I guess. I just said I was going to try Mavis. I mean, she has a weakness here, but honestly, I'm pretty confident that she'll be able to do something since she has Shadow Ball. There you are, Miss Magius, you piece of shit. This thing is a special destroyer. This thing will destroy you specially. It's using Magical Leaf! Okay! You're not even trying. Just use Shadow Ball. You have Shadow Ball, right? Come on. Just let me annihilate you. It doesn't matter. Come on. You, you have to have something. I lowered your special defense. That's solid. Fuck. Off screen. You know, that doesn't matter what for shit. No matter how much health you're healing back, it's not going to help you. So let's see what you got. There's her Shadow Ball. I was wondering where it was. That might actually one-shot Mavis, because her special attack is through the fucking roof. Ah, eh, sure enough. Too bad I don't have Aftermath. I only have Unburden. Great. Well, Mavis is down. How about we go with Yuki? Let's annihilate the field. Can't hit me with Shadow Ball now. You can use Magical Leaf, but that ain't gonna do shit. Time to light screen myself and then set up some, uh... Oh yeah, that, that's actually perfectly solid. I mean, she could do okay damage, but my special defense is not bad. Once I set up a light screen, she basically can't do shit to me. Alright, here we go, Yuki time! Let's see what we can get from Metronome. Oh, right. Wow, what an obnoxious moveset. Magical Leaf, Psy Beam, Confuse Ray, and Shadow Ball. Chugga, you better say that moveset with some serious angst, or else I'm going to be a little disappointed. Oh, well, here's Meditate. That doesn't help me very much. My attack raises. It was always a move I loved doing in Pokemon Stadium because of the funny animation it had. Alright, Yuki. Dominator with the ultimate of metronomes. Oh, here it comes. Fucking dive. Okay, that works. I mean, you'll do alright damage since your special defense was lowered. There you go. Not bad. She's probably going to use another Hyper Potion. But that just gives me more room to use more Metronomes, and you better watch out, I have 17 Lepa Berries. I ain't going down until I beat you with Metronome, baby. Poison Fang. Hey, if I badly poison her, that'll work. Nope, of course not. Metronome. That won't do much except guarantee hitting. Ow. Actually, that did a solid bit of damage. Come on, Metronome, no belly drum. Ooh, there you go. That'll do some damage. Ho 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 yeah! That's what we like to see, Yuki. Fucking dominated. That was a lot of experience, too. And then there's Gengar. Looks like you ain't gonna do much, Fantina. You sound like a drink, Fantina. That, that sounds like a drink. What is this? Is this my final Pokemon? You, you probably have Curse. Ah, uh, fucking sake. Alright, let's go for, uh... Well, if you have Curse, I might not, I might not go for that shit. Try to go for a lucky Metronome kill. Because this thing is bound to have, like, nothing but Ghost moves, so it can't really do much to me. I'm just worried about Curse. 
All right, come on, Yuki. Let's go. There you go. What do we got tonight? Sludge Bomb. I can't poison him because he's a poison type. Well, it does a little bit of damage, I guess. Um, Max Potion. I don't care if I'm wasting this shit because it's Yuki. Yuki deserves to metronome the fuck out of this guy. Alright, what you got now, Gengar? Oh, you asshole. Too bad I have a shit little Lepa Berries. He really doesn't like Metronome very much. Poison Jab! Alright, that was just a mean move right there. Oh, great. Well, looks like Yugi isn't gonna get to finish off this battle unless she gets a lucky Metronome. Hydro Cannon! There you go. That was nice. Not gonna do that much damage, but that, that was pretty awesome. Damn, not bad. I thought you have to wait a turn now. Never give up. Never surrender. Who the fuck are you, Peppy? Never give up. Trust your instincts. Yuki must recharge. Alright. I don't know if you have Pursuit, but you might. Oh well, I don't care too much. Um, let's just let our new party member finish this up, shall we? Come on, Yuki. Let's see what Tonchan can do. No spite in the new guy. Can't use the Earthquake, unfortunately, but I can bite you. Stop trying to spite me. Such an asshole. He just feels so spiteful now that I sent out the final Pokemon with full HP. He's like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. And he got bit, but... Yeah. Bite, son. Level 32, Yuki. And the soda was completed. You are so fantastically strong that my text will not allow you to go through it without text skip. And thus we get the Relic Badge. And also I think she gives us Shadow Claw, even though none of her Pokemon use Shadow Claw. I think Gengar was supposed to. This is the thing she gives us Shadow Claw. She might give us Shadow Punch. Shadow Claw, yep. It's hit turns critical often. It's basically Ghost Slash. Very solid move. However, I don't think anyone can learn it. It's a move that has a very low learn percentage. Yep, that's what I figured. I mean, I bet you that, uh... You, or not Yuki. I mean, I thought Yuki would probably be the one to learn it, if one could learn it, would be Yuki. But, uh... If Mavis actually had arms, she could probably learn Shadow Claw. <clears throat> but no, she doesn't. She just has, like, tentacle balloon strings. So, no, that doesn't count. Also, yes, this is this obnoxious of a gym to get out of. What an obnoxious gym this is. And thus, we are still not out? Oh, my lord. There's five floors of this nonsense. You have to fight ten trainers if you want to fight everyone in this gym. But we are done. At least that's how I see it. You do realize I say this to everyone, right? Well, you know. Hey, Cynthia, please don't battle me right now. <laughs> You're not very easy to track down. You still found me pretty fast. Hmm. But that Team Galactic... Hmm. That's just plain wrong, bitch. Maybe I'll cut up the episodes. Maybe I'll do that. Like, I'll pretend this was a new episode from when uh, Pop interrupted me. Because a lot did happen in this episode. Eh, they were mildly interesting. They kept my attention for like three minutes. Not a really, it was more like 30 seconds. Okay, bye bye for now. Bye bye. She probably watched Sesame Street as a little kid. I can imagine little Cynthia sitting on the couch watching Sesame Street. With her mommy and daddy. That's a very cute picture. She probably didn't have parents, and I probably pissed off a lot of people that like Cynthia. Oh well. Anyway. You up, everybody. And we're golden. 
Well, I'm pretty much good to go, because I have a full team of complete badasses. Yep, this is a fully evolved team right here. Everyone here is ready to go. We got the wall that is Heathcliff, the dominating force that's Bao, the middle ground that's Tonshan of those two, the fast blazing little Buddha, maybe it's the Shadow Ball lady, and Yuki the wild card. Honestly, I think this is a pretty solid team of, uh, solid team of Pokemon. So, when we come back next time for more Pokemon Pearl, we're gonna be surfing, I believe, because we need to get on over to the sixth gym. Yep, see you guys there for that next time. Have a good one, y'all. And I probably will split up the episodes, so, yeah, this was two episodes in total. Sorry for no saying goodbye in the last one. Oh well. You'll live.